Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin guys, I'm not giving you any medical advice today and everything stated in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. All right guys, with that being said, look, I get a lot of emails all the time about what is the best hydrogen machine, what are the worst ones, which one should I avoid? Constantly, so this video, I'm gonna show you guys, in my opinion, what are the best and what are the worst hydrogen machines on the market. I am not going to go into detail as to why, because otherwise this video would be extremely long. So I'm just going to show you the machines. And then if you guys really want to know the details of every single one and why they're not good or why they're good, in my opinion, then go ahead and comment below and I'll make another video for you guys. And thank you for the, giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with, well, in my opinion, what the worst one is. This one right here is by far the worst hydrogen machine I've ever seen. This is actually a Brown's gas device. It doesn't even do molecular hydrogen or make molecular hydrogen, which is really what the research is all about. Um, it's also one of the more expensive ones on the list, which is ironic that it's one of the most expensive, one of the worst. I won't go into details as to why. I will let you know that this is basically a welding device from China. That I think they call it an acrylic flame polishing machine, whatever, um, whatever the fancy name is. Um, here you can get them for like 70 bucks or so. I've seen them as low as 40 something dollars, but yeah, these right here, in my personal opinion, are the worst. And I might even try to link a video down below as I found some people who've had some pretty bad experiences with them. I've actually tried it and I also myself had some pretty bad experiences with it, but I won't go into the detail as to why I don't think they're good. Let's just keep moving on to the next one. Uh, really low on the list are the hydrogen pills and tablets. And again, just to clarify, I'm talking about every single hydrogen pill that I've seen out there. I just want that to, cl to be clear, clear because so many people ask me, well, what about this tablet? What about that tablet? None of these, in my opinion, are a good idea. I personally will not use them. Um, but th again, these are just my opinions. And my opinions are always based on data, even lab tests that I've seen of what's in these things, even the main ingredients and where they come from. Yada, yada, yada. But again, this is something that I would not use. Even if you literally paid me or gave me these things for free, I wouldn't even use them. Okay, so moving on to the next one. The Kangen machine. The Kangen machine is actually one of the more expensive items here on the list. And they're definitely, you know, low on the list. And there's a lot of downsides to the Kangen. A lot of things that I, again, personally... Well, I'd like to tell you, but again, I'm not going to go into great detail. I'm just kind of making a quick list here for you guys to hopefully make it easy for you. And then right above the Kangen are all the hydrogen bottles. Guys, again, I want to let you know because I get emails on this every single day. I'm talking about every single hydrogen bottle out there. There, I have not seen one that I personally would even use. I know that here they're claiming that they're Janu Japanese manufacturers or whatnot made in Japan. Um, I would be question. I, I won't even go into the details as how people can claim that legally because that's not what this video is about. But I'll just tell you that I wouldn't use any of them. So again, anybody who's wanting to contact me and ask me about, is there a good hydrogen bottle? I will not use any of them for good reason. If you guys, again, want to know more details, comment below. Okay, and that goes again, any hydrogen bottle, all the ones out there. And remember, hydrogen really is my true specialty. I have dug so deep into this subject that literally in a way that almost nobody has, even people who think they have. And I, I look into the deep engineering of all this and how real true medical professionals, what they would use in Japan where, you know, the real specialists are. Um, the next one is this older model of the Lourdes hydrogen generator. I used to use this one. It was decent, though I ended up finding later in time a lot of the issues with it, unfortunately. And again, I've used a lot of these devices, actually. I've had from the Kangans to Brown's gas machines to the bottles to the pills. I've actually, I think I've used almost every single device on this list. And these, again, there are some drawbacks. I've made a detailed video about it. Um, this is not a true Japanese machine. So a lot there seems to be a lot of confusion with that. I won't go into great detail in this video again, but that's where it is on the list. Would I use it above like these bottles? Yeah, I would. Um, but everything that I've learned, I, I don't even want to use this anymore because I'm all about the best. Why am I about the best? I want something to be extremely safe and more than anything, actually effective. So that's really the, the big points here. Now we're going to get into the machines that, in my opinion, are actually quite good. Um, and lo and behold, <laughs> a truly made in Japan device. Now this one, in my opinion, is good, but it is a hydrogen gas inhalation machine. And that's really what it seems to be really good at. And so it's a little limited in that regard. I won't go into great detail again, unless you guys want to know. But this, this is towards the top of the list. This, in my opinion, is a safe, good device to inhale hydrogen from. 
Next one on the list, even above that, is one that doesn't make the hydrogen gas inhalation, but this one actually makes just the water. And these are like industrial big ones for businesses, uh, medium-sized ones too, but also for home use. They do have quite a few downsides, although they make hydrogen water, again, in my opinion, that is actually safe, that is actually effective. Is it going to be the most effective? Not in my opinion, but quite effective, and it is good. And that's why it's literally one of the best. In fact, I think personally, I think this is literally number two in the world, uh, the Gouda devices. And again, stay tuned at the end of the video because I'm actually going to show you some clips of me running into a Gouda device here in Japan. So I'm going to be showing you that at the very end. So again, stay tuned for that. And then number one in the world is actually this another Japanese machine, and it is the Lourdes Hydrofix premium. Uh, this one does both the hydrogen water and actually even better than the Gouda machines, which is not easy to do because Gouda is one of the best, but this is just on a whole other level as far as the kind of hydrogen water it makes. But it also makes the hydrogen gas inhalation. So yes, and there's a reason that it's the number one machine in Japan. A lot of people don't know that when something goes number one in Japan, it is clearly the best in all of Japan. In fact, a lot of Japanese, whether you go to a restaurant or whatever, they always just say, what's the best or what's the most popular? Because they know that whatever the number one, you know, whether it's food or device or whatever it is, or hotel or whatever, everybody in Japan knows if it's number one, it's number one for a reason. And that would be this device right here. So, okay, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, again, if you want really, really detailed video that would be quite long, comment below and stay tuned because I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to attach a clip to this video that you guys can check out of me running into a Gouda machine here in Japan. Thanks for all the support and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.